Okay, Assalamualaikum Hello, my name is Muhammad Zuhairi bin Saimi uh, And today I would like to present about uh, Retail Merchandising Management Which is uh, my assignment one Individual assignment Retail Anthropology uh, Which company that I choose is three uh, That is Nike Adidas and Puma Retail Stores. Okay. Slide. Okay. Description of industries and stores. Okay. Retail is a broad term that uh, compass encompasses a massive industry that employs millions of people and generates trillions of dollars in sales revenue each year. Retail is the sale of goods to consumers. Uh, not for resale, but for the purchases, use and consumption. The sale of merchandise from a single point of purchase directly to a co customer who intends to use uh, that to use that product is referred to as retail. A single point of purchase could be a physical retail store, an online shopping website or a catalog. Attracting customers through product displays and marketing is central to retailing. Inventory must be maintained, shelves must be kept stocked and payments must be collected. Retailers, on the other hand, are more than just places to buy goods. They also serve as a distribution channel for manufacturers, allowing them to focus on uh, developing their products. Due to these assignments, I have selected three retail stores in the sportswear brand industry such as Nike, Adidas and Puma. I have visited these three stores at Mid Valley South Key, which is Nike and Adidas while Puma retail stores at Aeon Mall Tebrau City. These three sportswear retail stores industries serve their customers best at the battle of sportswear hits up. That is one of the reason why these three retail stores are top three best in the world for sportswear industries. This sportswear retail stores always continue to industries uh, always continue to flourish from time to time and add incremental improvements. As we all know, these three retailers uh, have known in the world. Furthermore, they are brand already well known by customers in the market. The reason why I selected these three sportswear retailers is because they are very good on performing the specialties of their products in Malaysia's market. First example is Nike. Why I choose Nike is because I trust the sportswear retailer. It is extremely difficult for a footwear company to develop this level of consumer loyalty. Nike excels at many things including the production of high quality and attractive shoes. The sponsorship of numerous sports teams and the generation of large sums of money. However, where the company truly excels is in its branding. There is no other company that does branding like Nike. Because of their brilliant branding strategies, Nike dominates the great shoes industry. Next, the other example is Adidas. Why I choose Adidas? 
It is because Adidas is one of the oldest and most well-known clothing brands. Uh, it has made a wide range of sports and casual shoes available to the public. Adidas has introduced innovation in all of its shoes over the years. Not only to meet everyone's fashion needs, but also to build trust in the sportswear industry. Everyone is aware that Adidas shoes prices vary depending on the product line. However, someone who understands the value of good footwear will gladly spend money on it for reasons such as comfort, functionality and style. Last but not least is Puma. Why I choose Puma? It is because Puma is swiftly becoming the fastest growing brand for now and they are on the verge of competing with Nike and Adidas. Their sales have increased significantly in recent years and if they continue on this path, Nike and Adidas will face a major threat. <clears throat> One of their stronger points is that they offer more discounts and promotions for the benefit of customers more than Nike and Adidas. Their shoes elevate the style and their technologies simply come out to make you comfortable. People always hold high regard for their shoes because they provide comparable quality to Nike and Adidas at a lower cost. Okay, next slide. Customer traffic flow. As you can see, first picture is Nike attracted by advertising of big screen in front of their store. Adidas attracted by store layout and image. And Puma attracted by promotion in entrance door. Okay. The movement of customers through the store is referred to as traffic flow. It is an important aspect, aspect of store layout because of the impact it can have on customers, both practically and psychologically. A well-designed layout not only influences customer movement through the store, but it can also encourage specific uh, purchasing behaviors. For customer traffic flow of night retail store at Mid Valley Sauki is more free flow pattern which is relaxed, unbalanced flow layout is created by a variety of fixtures in an informal format. While the free flow layout frequently sacrifices selling space in order to create atmosphere, it does encourage browsing and spontaneous purchase. The night retail store at Mid Valley Sauki has a unique store design, which is the front of the store is full of transparent glass. Also, they have an advertising of big screen in front of their store. It can make people visible from the outside of the store, like the first picture. Next, for customer traffic flow of Adidas retail store at Mi Valley, Sokki are same like night retail store, which is free flow pattern. So the Adidas customer can freely go any path they want because the variety of fixtures is informal format. Moreover, the Adidas retail store at Mi Valley, Sokki is attracted people by their inside design of store and full of lighting which is when people pass through in front of the store will see the store clearly and perfectly also they put the big logo of adidas with lighting in front of the store so people will know even when they are far away from from that okay the last for customer traffic flow is Puma Retail Store at Aeon Mall, Tabrao City, 
also had the same free flow pattern. But Puma retail store at Aeon Mall Tebrau City is quite small compared to other retail store. Uh, also had the same free flow pattern. But uh, Puma retail store Oh, sorry. Uh, also, the store crowdedness are more crowded because the their store is small, but their store have a lot of products. But it's not the problem for Puma retail store. There because customer traffic flow is low compared to others. Further than that, Puma store attracted their customer with big sales sticker in front of their store. Customer can easily see that because their store is not big enough to visible. Okay. Next slide. Crowdedness. According to research, an increase in perceived crowding in a retail store can reduce shoppers' satisfaction with the with the store. In every retail outlet, the size and placement of the store as well is critical. The location of a retailer's ISL determines the flow of customer traffic throughout the store. For the us for the ISL of night retail store. At Mid Valley South Key is crowded because uh, their space is quite small and their store are uh, not organized well. But still can walk past through two person at the same time. Next, for the ISL of Adidas retail store at Mid Valley South Key also had the same situation as it is. Quiet, crowded too, but the difference is Adidas traffic flow is not very high as night retail store. Um, therefore, Adidas retail store does not have such a problem for their customers to go through their path to see the goods in store. Okay, next for the last I sell is Puma retail store at Aeon Mall, Tebrau City. Puma retail store are very small compared to others, so their store is really crowded. Only one person uh, can pass through along the ISL. Also, their store quite have a lot of products, but their store is too small for that. But it is still not a problem for customers to walk through the ISL because their traffic flow is really low. Accessibility. Okay. Accessibility is a term that has become increasingly popular in recent years and for good reasons. In the retail sector, it all starts with a simple equation which is the more accessible your store is, the more people who can uh, potentially buy from it okay like first picture night accessibility for night retail store accessibility at mid valley stock key is they have something good accessible which uh, they provide launch to try on their uh, the shoes product then they provide fitting room for customers to try on uh, their clothes their display clothes Furthermore, their store have checkout counter. Okay, next for Adidas retail store accessibility. Adidas retail store assist, uh, accessibility at Mid Valley South Key is their store provide launch too for their customer to try on their shoes product. Also the same like night. Then Adidas retail store has fitting room for their customer to try on their clothes. After that, they also have checkout counter too. Okay. 
Okay, last but not least is Puma Retail Store. Uh, for Puma Retail Store accessibility, also they provide the same as Nike and Adidas. Puma Retail Store provide launch for their customer to try on their shoes product. Then, they provide fitting room for their customer to try on their display clothes and they also have checkout counter for their customers too. Overall, overall scores and recommendation. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, this is overall scores that I give to Nike, Adidas, and Puma retail store. Which is a uh, night in Mid Valley Sauki, Adidas in Mid Valley Sauki, and Puma in a uh, at Aeon Mall to Brown City. For night traffic flow, I give nine over ten because uh, it's quiet, crowded uh, at there. Then Adidas um, at Adidas Mid Valley Sauki traffic flow, I give seven over ten. Then for Puma retail store, I give 5 over 10 because uh, the store is quite small for people to come. Okay, for crowdedness, for night I give 8 over 10. And Adidas, I give 9 over 10. Puma, I give 10 over 10 because it's too crowdedness. For accessibility, night I give 3 over 10, Adidas I give 3 over 10, and Puma I give 2 over 10. Because they did not provide too many accessibility for their customers. For the last one, overall score, I give, for night I give 8 over 10, Adidas I give 7 over 10, and Puma I give 6 over 10. Uh, for recommendation, uh, retailers uh, follow the same basic path, path to success. To improve profitability, we must increase sales uh, while decreasing expenses. Whether you are upselling a customer or expanding into a multi-channel environment, retailers must learn to recognize and capitalize on every possible selling opportunity. For these three retailers, they need to improvise their crowdedness of their retail stores because sometimes people hate being too crowded. Moreover, during this pandemic of COVID-19, people need uh, to have social distancing in this new era of globalization. Okay. Okay, for the last one, retail store e-commerce to improve. For okay, for these three retailers, okay, for these three retailers, their retail store e-commerce are already good because they have their own website. All of these three have a good website and apps for their customer. That is one of the reason why these three retailers are top three in the world. Okay, in the absence of in-store atmosphere and mode, retailers today require more digitally immersive experiences to instill customer confidence and trust. More retailers must follow the lead of those, of those uh, engaging consumers through new channels such user-friendly interfacing websites and options such as customer service, chat and self-report. I think that's all from me. Thank you.